Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor and selling in Costa Rica. What is the process of buying in Costa Rica? Okay, let me tell you. The first thing you need to know is you need to pick up the right property for you. So currently I represent three developments, Nia in Costa Rica, that's by Liberia. That's a large uh, development with 4,000 units. The prices are very good and deposits are very low. I like that one very much. Look at the webinar. Number two is Riverland, which are complete homes in Tamarindo, which is the resort, the famous resort town. And number three is Naomi. Okay, the process of grabbing a property in Costa Rica goes like this, in a simplified way, of course. The first thing, you need to find out what you want to buy. So watch my webinars about Nia, watch the Naomi webinar, and watch the Riverland webinar. Once you watch those webinar, give me a call or email, and we'll have a discussion and I'll run over the options with you. Now, inventory, what's available will change because once property is being sold, they get off the list and obviously the price may go up and up and up. And as you know, the last few years, Costa Rica has seen increase in real estate value of 20 and 25%. And frankly, I imagine this will continue happening because Costa Rica is a peaceful place is a green place, is a welcome place, and it's very safe. It also allows anyone in the world, so if you're watching this video from Canada, US, Israel, Australia, anywhere, you can buy, there's no problem. So once we've narrowed down the property, I'll run you through what's available, and then I'll answer the regular questions, which is, how much is it? What about the deposit structure? Can I assign it? How do I close on it? What are the management like? So taxes and condo fees, they're the same all over the world, right? And can I manage it? Can I have someone manage it for me? Can I make money on it? Yes, you can. And obviously depending on property and prices and oh, big disclaimer here, but generally speaking, the properties I choose to represent and I'm approved by the developers are properties that can give you cash flow because you want to be able to go to the property, use it for yourself, or maybe send a relative there or a friend, and the time you're not using the property, you might as well put it on the rental pool and it can be managed for you, and the money that coming through the management can be put into your bank account, which is what you want. So I look for what's called white glove service, okay? I'll be your point of contact, Yossi, I want to invest in Costa Rica. I want to invest quarter million. I want to invest 350 or I want the penthouse or a big home with four bedroom. That's okay. We'll find you one. Once we find a property, we look at the price. We look at the deposit structure. We look at what you get with the property. We look at the contract and we do the paperwork required for you to own that property in Costa Rica. The Costa Ricans are very, very precise the professionals, uh, I really love working with them. They cross the T's, they dot the I's, no problem there, okay? And the properties that we pick are usually, all of them actually until now, but we're probably gonna have some resale in the future, um, are pre-construction, gated communities, fully managed, and only the best. So. That's the process of buying in Costa Rica. More questions, watch the video first, then give me a call and I'll get you going. Thank you very much, Yossi Kaplan.